Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the radio button component in Flash. So to get started we're going to create an ActionScript 3 document. I'm going to grab the text tool and I'm going to type what is my favorite color question mark. And once I have that done we're going to add some radio buttons underneath to provide answers for that question. Then depending on what you select will determine what the text we're going to put at the bottom is going to render out and uh, decide if that's the right answer or not. So we're going to grab the components next. So go to Window, Components. We're going to drag out four of the radio buttons to be used. And then once we've done that, we're going to also drag out a button to be used as a submit button. And so now that I have that done, I'm going to position these relatively close to each other. And then I'm going to select them all. So I'm going to select them, go to Window, Align. I'm going to put them all to the left and then distribute the centers vertically. Now that I've done that, I'm going to position those underneath the question. And then I'm going to put the button over here. So now I've done that, we need the dynamic text box that's going to show whether or not you've selected the right answer. So I'm going to put that right at the bottom here. And like so. So now the last thing we need to do is add some instance names to these um, radio buttons, the button, and the text field. So for each of these, I'm going to assign a color. So I'm going to say red. And then for the, sec for the second one, I'm going to say green. Then for the next one, blue. And for the last one, we'll say orange. Okay, and then for the button right here, we'll just say submit. Okay, and then for the text, we're going to call it, let's just say my text. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're ready to start adding some action script to make this run. So I'm going to open up the actions panel. Then the first thing we need to do is import uh, a radio button group control. So we're going to say import dot or import space fl dot controls dot radio button group. Then a semicolon. And then on the next line, we need to create a group for that. So I'm going to say var group. That's the name we're going to use for our group. And then colon. It's a radio button group. I copy that, and then space equals space, and then new space radio button group, open parenthesis, quotes, close parenthesis, semicolon, and then inside the quotes we need a name for our group, and I'm just going to call it my question. So now what we need to do, um, well basically first I want to explain why you need a group. Um, for the radio buttons you need a group so that um, it can determine because in a group of radio buttons you only want one to be selected at a time and if you don't have them in a group then it will let you select each of the buttons and then that kind of defeats the purpose of having an answer um, if you can select them all. So you want to take and make a radio button group when you're working with radio buttons so that it knows which group it belongs to so that it can only select one out of each of those. So now what we need to do next is add each of those to the group so we're going to say red that group space equals space and then group because that was what we called our group up here or that was the variable that we gave for our group so now a uh, semicolon at the end of that and then for the next ones we just need to copy and paste that and we'll call this one uh, green I know that's what we did call it before and then we'll say this one's blue and orange Okay. So now what we need to do is uh, change the label on these radio buttons so that it doesn't say label anymore and it'll actually say the color. So we'll say for the first one red dot label space equals space, a couple of quotes and a semicolon. Inside the quotes we're going to put the color which is red. So I'm going to copy that, paste it, and then we're going to change it to green for this one, blue for this one. and orange for this one. I did not spell that right. Okay, and orange. Okay, so now that we've done that, we need to change the label on our button. So I'm going to do that by using the instance name submit that we gave it, dot label, 
space equals space quotes and a semicolon inside the quotes we're going to say submit and then on the next line we need to come up with an event listener so that when we click on the submit button it knows um, it basically runs the function and then it determines if it's the right answer so we're going to say submit that add event listener open parenthesis mouse event dot click in all caps comma and then for the function name we'll just say submit color close parenthesis semicolon so now we're going to write that function so function submit color space open parenthesis events colon is a mouse event capital M capital E close parenthesis colon void open curly bracket enter a couple times close curly bracket up arrow key now inside of this function we're gonna have two if statements so we're gonna have kinda of two different groups working at the same time so the first group we're gonna have is an if statement basically saying if nothing is selected and you click this button then nothing's really gonna happen so we're gonna say if space parenthesis group that selection space equals equals null which means nothing was selected close parenthesis space open curly bracket hit enter a couple times close curly bracket up arrow key then we're going to just return return semicolon so that's going to basically not change really anything on our um, document so which is what should happen because you haven't really selected anything so the second thing we need to write is if something actually has happened if you've actually selected one we're going to say if and then group dot selection dot label space equals equals and then we're going to say if it equals the right answer which the right answer is blue my favorite color is blue so if it equals blue which is going to be in quotes then we're going to close parenthesis space open curly bracket enter a couple times close curly bracket up arrow key then we're going to change my text my text and it's txt dot text space equals equal or space equals space sorry group dot selection dot label plus is my favorite color great job exclamation point I'll put all that in quotes so we need to say the is and everything he said all being quotes all right so let me explain this a little bit so basically if you select blue if the group dot selection dot label is blue then it's going to be correct so we need the my text to change um, it's gonna say the group dot selection dot label which is gonna be blue so it's gonna say blue is my favorite color great job so I put a space here so that it puts a space in between blue and is so this all needs to be in quotes right here and then you need to have a semicolon at the end alright so now since we have an if statement we're gonna need an else statement so I'm gonna put a space else and then space open curly bracket enter a couple times close curly bracket up arrow key and then now we're gonna write basically if you're wrong so if it doesn't equal blue then this is what's gonna happen so my text is going to my text dot text going to be equal to group dot selection so that's whatever they selected dot label oh my gosh label okay plus quotes and then a semicolon and inside the quotes we want a space and then is not my favorite color try again so now it should be working, so we're going to do control test movie. Seems that we have an error here. Um, oh, I forgot the M in submit color. Submit color. Okay, that would ruin it because that's the function name. All right, so we do control test movie, and now if I select nothing, you see nothing happens. That's that um, statement where it has it returning right here. And if I click red, which isn't my favorite color, and click submit, red is not my favorite color, try again. Green is not my favorite color, try again. 
orange is not my favorite color, try again, and blue is my favorite color, great job. So you can see how radio buttons can be used in Flash um, from this little demonstration here. Um, a lot of people like to use them on forms uh, for different things, maybe like a male-female selection, or you can make polls out of it. There's a lot of different applications, so I hope you guys learned something about the radio buttons from this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will see you tomorrow with another component tutorial. Thanks for watching.